Hi everyone, you are watching If I Wrote for WWE. In this series, I talk about how I would write storylines and book superstars. In this episode, we'll be talking about the Universal Championship. Now, as of September 22nd, Braun Strowman is set to challenge Brock Lesnar for the Universal title at No Mercy. If I was writing slash booking this match, I would have Braun Strowman win the title. The match would be an absolute, I would have the match be like an absolute slugfest, but I would have Brock give Braun everything he had so the crowd legit accepts Braun as the monster among men. I would have him start a program with John Cena that culminates at Clash of Champions. Braun will retain the title, doubly proving that not even John Cena can, pr can beat him. Samoa Joe and Brock would then come back into the title picture. At Royal Rumble, I would have Brock Lesnar vs. John Cena vs. Braun Strowman vs. Samoa Joe in a fatal four-way for the title. I would have Samoa Joe make John Cena tap out, thus becoming the Universal Champion. I think that would be like a real shocker to everyone because most people wouldn't expect Cena to tap to anyone. And then after that match, probably like on Raw the next day, Braun demands, a demands his rematch at Fastlane because you know, contract guaranteed. And then during this match, the ref is knocked out. Brock Lesnar gets in the ring and takes Braun to Suplex City. Samoa Joe covers Braun for the pin. One, two, three, he retains the title. Then, Roman Reigns wants a shot. And then, therefore, at WrestleMania, it's Brock Lesnar versus Roman Reigns versus John Cena versus Braun Strowman versus Samoa Joe in a fatal five way for the Universal title. I would have Roman pin Cena to win the title. They're uh, kind of like to cement his claim as face of the company. I know people don't like Roman Reigns, but him, but him winning the title is for a reason. Now, if you watch my other videos, you'll see that I have Finn Balor not really doing that much storyline wise, because I feel that like he's like he should be in the main event spot. But right now is not a really good time for him, and like the IC title, I really don't feel like he should lower himself to do the IC title. So I would have him like as a side that he's going to all like NXT, SmackDown, talking to his like buddy. So he's talking to Gallows and Anderson. You know, it's just like backstage segments. We never really see what they're talking about. He's at NXT. He's talking to Roderick Strong. You know, he's on 205. He's talking to Tony Nese. He's on SmackDown. He's talking to Becky Lynch. Now these are all backstage segments, so you never really like you never like, they're for they're for a glimpse. You never really hear what they're talking about. And so the day after WrestleMania, Roman Reigns has just won the title. So I would have Roman go to the ring, cut a promo, you know, say it's his yard. He's the face now. No one can stop him. But you know who does come out? The friggin' Balor Club. That's right. Carl Anderson, Luke Gallows, Tony Nese, Roderick Stomp, Strong, Becky Lynch, and Finn Balor. They attack Roman. Finn holds the title in the air, you know, sig signaling what's to come. And then Finn like, grabs the mic, announces the Balor Club is on a quest to conquer Raw. You know, he might say something like, you know, bullets go in guns. Guns are used in war. Raw is war. Then that would launch a whole year-long program. You got the Balor Club going for all the titles on Raw. You got Becky going for the women's. Tony Nese going for the cruiserweight. Roderick going for the IC title. Gallows and Anderson going for the tag. And Finn going for the universal title. Um, so, okay. So that's how I would write Universal Championship. Thank you for watching. Click here to subscribe. Thanks.